Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Saturday, November the 25th, or as I like to say, two days after Thanksgiving. Well, we probably all overdid it a little bit. Um, and you know you overdid Thanksgiving when paramedics bring in the jaws of life to pry you out of your easy boy. The gravy boat that your wife set out this year was a real 12-foot boat. You know you overdid Thanksgiving when you receive a sumo wrestler application in the mail. You know that you've overdid Thanksgiving when on Friday you set off three earthquake seismographs, seismographs on your morning jog. Or when you pricked your finger for cholesterol screening and it only yielded gravy. You know you overdid Thanksgiving when a guest quotes a biblical passage from the feeding of the 5,000 that the rash on your stomach turns out to be steering wheel burn. You know you've overdone Thanksgiving when representatives from the Butterball Hall of Fame call you twice. And when you consider gluttony your patriotic duty. You know you overdid Thanksgiving when your arms are too short to reach the keyboard and delete this. <laughs> All kidding aside, there's some great quotes about Thanksgiving and Tony Evans, the, the pastor, writes, God says to give thanks in everything. That doesn't mean you need to give thanks for everything. You don't need to give thanks for that bad day or for that bad relationship or being passed over at work, financial hardship, whatever it is. You're not giving thanks for the difficulties, but rather in the difficulties. That's a very important distinction and one I think we often miss. Giving thanks in everything shows a heart of faith that God is bigger than the difficulties and that he can use them if you approach him with the right heart and spirit for your good and his glory. Dr. David Jeremiah once said, no matter what our circumstances, we can find a reason to be thankful. The Lutheran pastor and martyr Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, it is only with gratitude that life becomes rich. Rick Warren uh, from Saddleback Church, recently retired out there in California, wrote, in happy moments, praise God. In difficult moments, seek God. In quiet moments, worship God. In painful moments, trust God. In every moment, thank God. Corey Ten Boom, who uh, I've talked about a number of times, many times before, who um, lived through concentration camps in during the Second World War, said, I've, I've held many things in my hands and I've lost them all, but whatever I have placed in God's hand, that I still possess. Tim Keller, who recently passed away, a, a, a Presbyterian pastor uh, well-known in New York City, said, it's one thing to be grateful, it's another to give thanks. Gratitude is what you feel, thanksgiving is what you do. And finally, Charles Stanley said, gratitude produces deep abiding joy because we know that God is working in us even through our difficulties. And then, of course, there's wonderful scriptures. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Ephesians 5, verses 19 through 20. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds, Psalm 9, verse 1. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, Philippians 4, verse 6. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, Psalm 100, verse 4. And finally, we can give thanks in anything because Jesus Christ is Lord and he has overcome the world, John 16, verse 33. And finally, to wrap up our week of Thanksgiving and the Thanksgiving holiday, another poem, an after Thanksgiving poem. And it goes like this. I ate too much turkey. I ate too much corn. I ate too much pudding and pie. I'm stuffed up with muffins and too much stuff, and I'm probably going to die. I piled up my plate and I ate and I ate, but I wish I had known when to stop. For I'm so crammed with yams, sauces, gravies, and jams that my buttons are starting to pop. I'm full of tomatoes and french fried potatoes. My stomach is swollen and sore. But there's still some dessert, so I guess it won't hurt if I eat just a little bit more.
Well, I hope you have a good day. I hope you haven't overeaten, um, and uh, but that you had a chance to give thanks uh, over these days of the Thanksgiving holiday. Hope you can be with us in worship tomorrow. Uh, we're back to our schedule of uh, uh, traditional service at 9, contemporary service at 11, both live streamed, of course, and then available to watch on our YouTube channel during the week. So I hope you'll join us in one of those ways um, in, the, in the next few days. And I'll be back with you again uh, on Tuesday. Until then, take care. Be well. Bye-bye.